go, ladies and gentlemen, into your flow. This is gonna be a more active and activation focused flow. So get ready to feel really good and active in your shoulders, glutes, and the rest of your body. So go ahead and step back on your mat. Go ahead and reach to the ceiling. Yeah, exhale, get nice and tall. Reach to the left. Reach to the right. Nice, go ahead and tuck that chin, roll the shoulders. Exhale, reach for the toes. Go ahead and shake those hips left and right. And inhale back up. Nice, I want you to place one foot in front of the other. Separate those feet about two to three inches. You're gonna go ahead and send those hips back. A total of five times per side. Keeping that chest nice and tall, keep that back flat. Sending the hips back. You don't have to really touch the floor. As long as you're keeping your hands close to your shins, that'll be great. And a beautiful stretch for the hamstrings and glutes. You should also unlock your pelvis and low back a decent amount. So again, five on left, five on right. If you wanna do more, by all means, go ahead and do more. But we're gonna start off with five here. Switch to the side and send the hips back. Have a soft bend on the knees, boom. Five reps. Beautiful. After those five, we're gonna go ahead and pick up that foot into a little glute stretch. Let's see if we can, oh, oh, we're not on even ground here, so it's gonna be a challenge, but it's good for activation. And then go ahead and send that foot back into an airplane, touch your shin, and then come back up into that glute stretch again. We're gonna do that five times, glute stretch. <laughs> and then send it back, airplane, touch the kneecap, opposite kneecap. There you go, number three. Find that balance, working everything, our toes, ankles, knees, hips. Here we go, number four. And number five. After your fifth one, do the same thing on the other side. Right foot down, left foot comes up. Let's see if this side has better balance or worse balance. Ooh. All right, maybe we're a little equal here. Well balanced. That's maybe you. Ooh. Maybe not. Uh. <clears throat> Five reps. That is huge for developing ankle, knee, and hip stability. So if you didn't feel that stable on those, that is a huge note to practice, practice, practice. Then we're gonna go ahead and touch the toes. Walk it out into a plank position on the toes. Half plank coming down. And cobra. Press up, get nice and tall. Think about pressing up into the sky and releasing back down to the ground. Roll those shoulders a couple times. Make sure those ribs can move around the shoulder blades. Beautiful, come on up. Press up. Beautiful, go ahead and sit back. Butt to heels. And return to all fours. We're gonna work on our fire hydrant. So you're gonna go ahead and flatten that back, make that pelvis neutral. If anything, poke back just a little bit. Keep that back relatively flat. You're gonna go ahead, balance on one knee, and open up. It doesn't have to be very big, you just have to feel it in the glutes and not in the abs, the obliques, or anywhere else. All right, it's a very small muscle pattern, muscle group that we're working, so take your time, very small. Five. Then we'll do five on the other side as well. Again, you can add more to this. If you notice that your knees maybe need extra warming up, or your hips need extra warming up, this is a great one to add more. Nice, after those four, we're gonna go ahead and five, after those five, we're gonna go into five cat cow twist.
Beautiful. After those cat cow twists, we're gonna go into some dead bugs. So you're gonna go ahead and some bird dogs. You're gonna go ahead and lift your opposite knee, opposite hand, and go ahead and extend. Create a straight line from hand to heel. Hold for five seconds. And you're gonna go ahead and bring it in and out five times. Keeping that core tight, back doesn't move at all. Beautiful, after those five, we're we'll doing the same thing on the other side. So, balance on the other set of hands and feet. And then go ahead and extend, hold, create a straight line. Try to keep your hips squared. Right? If you feel like you're kind of leaning open, we really want to feel it. You want to feel like you're centered, flat with your hips to the ground, holding centered, and then bring it in and extend five times. Again, while keeping that back flat for all five reps. Beautiful. After those five, you're gonna go back into plank, into half plank, and then roll over onto your belly. From here, you're gonna have your right heel by your left, by your right butt. Left leg comes across the quad. You're gonna pull and have your hands interlocked behind your hamstrings. Beautiful. And then hands behind your hamstrings. And you're going to go ahead and pull that knee to your chest and then release. We're going to do that a total of five times. Pull in, exhale, and release. 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 Last one. Pull in. Exhale, and release. Beautiful, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, but first we're gonna go into a twisted cross. So, we're gonna extend that right leg out. Left leg is gonna come across to our right hand. Oh, nice, into a twisted cross. What I want you to start off doing is having your left hand stacked over your right hand, and you're gonna open up and drag that left hand open as you get into that twisted cross. So left hand drags, open up. We're gonna do a total of five reps. After five, you're gonna go ahead and go into child's, into uh, happy baby. Oh. Go ahead and rock back and forth, loosen it up a little bit. You might fall to your side, and that's totally fine. Have some fun with it. Oh. Nice, go ahead and release gently. We're gonna keep our left heel by our left butt. Right foot comes across the left quad. Interlock your fingers behind your hamstring. And again, we're gonna pull that knee towards our chest, exhaling, and release. Total of five times, that's one. Pull in, exhale, and release. Two, pull in, exhale, release, nice. Three, pull in, exhale, four, nice. Pull in, exhale, and five. Beautiful. Go ahead and extend that left leg long. Right leg goes to left side. And right hand goes on top of left hand. Same thing, drag that right hand open a total of five times. After those five, we're gonna go back into happy baby. Oh. Rock back and forth a couple times. And then from there, we're gonna go into 10 dead bugs. So same position we're gonna be in, but now all our arms and legs are gonna be up in the air. Lower back is gonna be in contact with the ground. And we're gonna extend the opposite arm, opposite leg, and then bring them back together. If we need a modification, you're just gonna do a heel tap. So opposite hand, heel tap, and come back in. Opposite hand, heel tap, come back in. Total of 10 reps, five per side. Beautiful. 
after your 10, come back down to happy baby. Oh yeah, I am one happy baby. Nice. After a couple breaths here, go ahead and release. You're gonna extend and roll back onto your front. And back into Cobra. Pressing up, getting nice and tall. Exhale. And release down to the ground. We're gonna work on the shoulders a little bit here. So we're gonna go for some T, Y, and W. So you're gonna have your hands out in a T, palms forward, thumbs up, forehead on the ground. Five per movement. So this is a T, this is your Y, and this is your W. So five on each side, five on each movement. You can do one, one, one. You can do five of each and then go to the next movement. It's up to you. five on each side, get your hands back underneath you and press up, get nice and tall, exhale, and go ahead and tuck those toes down dog, kick it back, nice, now we're going to go into some plank practice, so I want you to go into a top plank right here with your hands, and we're going to try to alternate hands and feet off the ground working on the last bit of activation here for the day. Find your balance. I want you to hold at least three to five breaths on each side. Is there a modification to So perfect modification would be on the knees. So holding and extending. And just finding that balance there. And or taking smaller, smaller lengths of time. So going to the full holding and coming back down with control. All right, so intentionally coming back down instead of falling down, that would be a good way to modify as well. So once you've done that on either side, we're going to go into a side plank. We're gonna hold for five breaths. Enjoy the beautiful view of the water. And you're gonna go ahead and rotate, touch the floor underneath you and rotate up. If the hand's a little bit too hard, we can also go from the elbows. So elbow, side plank, and same thing, hand down, rotate. Hand down, rotate. Total of five. Once you've hit five on one side, hit the other side. Same thing, side plank. Whether you go from the feet or from the elbows, it's up to you. Once you've held it for at least three to five breaths, Again, you're gonna go ahead and rotate, touch the floor underneath you, and come up and look up at that hand with control. Oh, beautiful. After five on each side, return to your top plank with your hands and feet. Going into down dog. And we're gonna go into 10 scat push-ups. So, your chest is gonna to touch the ground. You're gonna come up and touch the opposite toe. If a full push up's a little too difficult, you can go from the knees, same thing applies. Chest down, press up, down dog, touch the opposite toe. After your 10, you're going to go ahead and back to down dog and walk it up. Feet to your hands. Shake it a little bit left to right. And inhale back up. Reach. And team, you should be all well and activated. Have fun in the workout, and I'll see you in the next flow.